from Lynn Family Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky. We've got a battle of two teams desperately in need of a W. Gotham FC scoreless in its last three. Racing Louisville, multiple goals in three straight matches, but no Ws to show. Both square off on this Friday night of NWSL action. Thank you for joining us on Twitch tonight. Brandon Ross here with you. You see a few jerseys that are a bit new. Obviously, in the middle of the international break, a lot of national team replacements being brought in to fill the gaps. And a couple are in the starting lineup tonight. Notably, Zanita Wynn. Uh, she is a, making her first NWSL appearance, a California native who has spent most of her professional career decade long in Europe. And then for Gotham FC, missing a few, and obviously add on Gina Lewandowski, who retired after the last match against the Chicago Red Stars, which resulted in a 3-0 loss. Now they are on the road. Louisville. Set to welcome. Danielle Chesky is the referee in this one. Still awaiting the first whistle. There it is, and we are underway in Louisville. The home racing side. In the home white uniforms, Gotham FC in the road blacks. Starring lineup for Louisville. For Malay, Gemma Bonner, Jalen Howell, Savannah DeMello, Amina Ekic, Jess McDonald, Julia Lester, Kirsten Davis, Zanita Wynn, Alex Shidiak, and in goal, Katie Lund. And for Gotham FC, Caprice Didasco, Paige Monahan, Jennifer Cucho, McCall Zerboni, Nahomi Kawasumi, Ali Krieger, Delaney Sheehan, Mandy Freeman, Amani Dorsey, Taylor Smith, and Ashlyn Harris. Smith, who was claimed off waivers back on June 24th. Going to be playing towards the front today. Has played as a defender and as a midfielder. Not much on that front line, but that's where Scott Parkinson sees her fitting in to his squad. Gotham getting set up here. Parkinson talking to him yesterday ahead of this contest says, you know, in past games, they've just tended to commit to one side and that's limited their opportunities, made it easy to get closed out on, on today. He just wants to see more switching, more flexibility. Make the defense do some more work, create those gaps. Now Louisville establishes possession. McDonald's throwing in towards that attacking third. Side fended off at the end line. Ashlyn Harris missed some time with injury. Still holding firm in net. A couple of tough games in a row. Most recently, back to back three nil losses against Washington and Chicago. Back for Freeman. All the way back to Harris. Pressure staying up. Donald, some havoc up front. Ends up with Malay. Malay had the lone goal in the first meeting between these two sides back on May 22nd. Victory for Louisville. Big takeaway. Centering up from the top. Stood up at the top of the box by Freeman and Zerboni. The rip away. That 1 0 victory back in May. The only matchup of the four historically between these two sides. Louisville just its second season. A massive error, but an off-target shot. 
could have been much more deadly off that right foot of Kirsten Davis. Doesn't get to be any much more of a gift than that. Right through the seam, just couldn't settle. That one nothing victory, as I was saying, for Louisville over Gotham earlier this season, the only of the four matchups to end up with one side winning. All three 2021 duels ended in draws. Chip ahead for Zerboni. A little too strong. Ricochet's off Smith. Already mentioned normally, normally playing on the back line and in the midfields. But will be Ford, not just in this game, but for the foreseeable future on this Gotham side. Katie Lund, set for the goal kick. Third in the league in regular season saves, 36. Pretty toasty night in Louisville. Knocked back, a long roll, a little too far for Monaghan. Gotham maintains. Dorsey, it's Kawasumi, now Sheehan. He's also playing more of a forward role tonight. Works it around, Zerboni towards the box. Comes loose, McDonald there, pushes it out of danger. Long stretch ahead, but the flag quickly up on that near side. Kirsten Davis has been bounding behind the back line with some ease in these opening minutes. Yorker grin. So obviously overseeing a lot of moving parts. A major shipping spree since the transfer window opened. Rights of Tobin, Heath to OL Rain, Addison American, CC Kaiser to KC Current. Most recently, Ebony Salmon to Houston. He's bringing in a lot of new faces. Gonna fit his style. Very young team. As the foul keeps it in Gotham's grasp. Long drive from Dorsey. Headed back. Sumi reaches it. They work the left. Sheehan towards the corner. But well, out of tracking distance. Do cling on to possession though. The first significant final third attack was a few moments ago and that Really the only one that's come. Save the near blow up by Kirsten Davis. Off the high arcing ball towards the box that she caught but pushed wide. McDonald's. Davis tries to keep it alive but can't. Rolling into the ninth minute in the Bluegrass State. No score and no shots on target for the home racing Louisville FC or the visiting Gotham FC. Three 
wind it back to Harris. His hands against Davis's pressure. Take out, a clean one. Knocking out Didasco. Reigning NWSL Defender of the Year gets back into position. Louisville paces ahead. Spray out pass intercepted by Kawasumi. Roll towards the middle. Smith. Tap back and dispossessed. Louisville trying to strike on the counter. Smith quick into position. Slows it down. Inside still charges ahead and draws the foul in the process. Monahan got into a bit of a shoving match on top of the ball. Getting too much. Free kick right towards the box, headed right into the chest of Harris. A prime opportunity, the first good shot on target. But hardly even fighting an opening off the noggin. out in force. It's going right in Harris's face. That could play a factor. Kept alive. Zerboni called for the foul. No shocker there. McCall Zerboni has committed more fouls than anybody else in the history of the league. That'll be, that'll be a natural results played the second most minutes in league history. But nonetheless, just catches the shin of Malay and gives Louisville a deadly chance. DeMello, see her with Ekic. DeMello has scored twice off direct free kicks. Counting for both of her goals, they're the only ones in the league this season. But Ekic just scored her first of the year against Orlando. She takes it, and Harris dives to stop it. Fends off the open corner, but here comes Louisville again. And another deep foul that'll create a free kick. This time, Smith the guilty party. Ekic put it in such great position. But the 10th year veteran lunging for the save. Now a second take. Tougher angle to go direct. Here it comes. Headed out by Zerboni. And swept long away by Monaghan. Louisville picking up steam. Davis dicing. Gives it back. Belay to the corner. McDonald's running against Dorsey. And got them the last touch. We will have our first corner kick of the match in the 14th. Harris has faced quite a test these last few minutes. Along with the rest of her back line. Ekic winds and is blocked. 
trickles out. Another chip in, and Harris quick to it. The visitors finally settling things down, even for just a moment. Possession. Shidiak sends across. Howell. Round for Malay again. Off the poke, it stays with Louisville to Mello. Gaining some ground. Late foul call will grant yet another deep set piece opportunity. The third free kick from inside 30 yards in the span of about six minutes. to it. Louisville native and University of Louisville alum. Paces up. Lefty delivery. Headed up. Back post. McDonald can't follow. It's loose. Shot blocked. Rebounds. Set tie. Didiac, too much loft on the last opportunity. But Gotham getting its money's worth. Now Scott Parkinson, when I had the chance to talk to him yesterday, said he was looking to be a little more conservative with the press. He felt that's where his team got beat quite a bit in that 3-0 loss against Chicago last week too aggressive and getting bullied on the counter. A little further back, but now being forced a long way back. Falling victims to Louisville's press. So many opportunities. Through 16 and a half minutes. Space, Freeman there first. Just it down, Howell sets up. Gives off Ekic, delivers back. Heading clear is missed. Far enough away from McDonald. Another delivery, returns. Stop down, Malay. Bouncing ball goes all the way back towards the center circle. Relentless intensity from this Louisville side. Still yet to break through here in the 18th. Another foul against Cujo. Again, despite no wins in its last three matches. In fact, no wins until, or rather, no wins since May 22nd, the last meeting between these two sides. They have rattled off multiple goals in three consecutive games, including a pair against Louisville, that, or rather, against Orlando back on Sunday. DeMello had one of the goals. Ekic the other. They've gotten a lot of action on these free kicks. Quite some distance away this time. out of USC. In 
front, punch down. Shadiak puts it up. Bow up top. Just outside the box, he's in that semicircle. Top collision there, the right foot of Fujo getting up high on Shidiak. Right near the abdomen. Another prime setup. From one free kick, that had a lot of distance to one. That's about as close as you can get. Come in spades. Harris has handled the yeoman's work so far. And she fend off Louisville yet again here in the 20th. All forms. Demella has the only two direct free kick goals this season, lined up to the left, Ekic to the right. Ekic, runs over, DeMello, off target. The best set piece opportunity yet, going direct. And missing that right post. Zamello surrenders yet another opportunity as this shot battle getting wildly out of hand. It can't mean much if Louisville can't finish. First time, what seems like an eternity. The ball into the home third. Kawasumi battling with Malay. Shiboni heads it back. Sheehan settles it to Zerboni again. It's the top of the box. Sheehan regains it once more. Kawasumi, off the back pass, chipped ahead, or knocked back, Zerboni. Righty delivery, header, hits the side net. And offside, regardless, on the part of Monaghan. Dorsey, the first look in front, and this is the first Build of significant momentum for the visitors. Still no real battle that Lund has had to face. So Boney ambles up the left side. Continues to beat down uh, Lydon Family Stadium, but starting to face some shade. The Central Time Zone hits nightfall. Still a scoreless game. They're working to the right. A little too forceful on the follow through. And the first booking of the afternoon, or rather the evening, I should say, and that's Didasco here in the 23rd. The referee has shown a yellow card at Gotham's number three, Caprice Didasco. A bit too much, shall we say, movement of the arms directed at someone else's torso. up again. 
In the 24th minute, no score. Racing Louisville has had endless amounts of free kicks. We'll get another one here. Dorsey following up Didasco's yellow with one of her own. The referee is showing yellow card to the outcome to number 28, Devine Dorsey. Yeah, just the jersey pull on McDonald's. Feels like they've been at a such consistent clip. Ekic into the box, knocked out. Up top, knocked back a little further. Major takeaway as Gotham looks to counter. Monahan trying to get a step. Has possession. Gets the shot off! Gotham ends the drought! After three scoreless games and facing a peppering in the early going, it's Paige Monahan in the 25th to make it 1-0 Gotham. A perfect save on that far side, hitting Monaghan in stride so she can beat Lund. You can see the jubilation on Scott Parkinson's face. Half joy, half immense relief. After three scoreless matches, Gotham not only finishes one off, but takes the lead on the road. Louisville, who has had significantly more opportunities. Looking to answer back. Goal from Monahan, the assist from Sheehan. It's losing the box. Lefty strike. The sidewinder stopped again by Harris. She is standing on her head in these opening 30 minutes. Perfect whack. Couldn't break through. Paige Monahan, her goal there. Her first point since the 2021 Challenge Cup. And for Sheehan, her first assist and points of the 2022 season. Parkinson made a point of wanting to move Sheehan forward, move Smith forward. Scott Parkinson appears to have just gotten a yellow card, yep. Must have been his... Perhaps it was a... I don't know if you would call it an emphatic kick, but he, he kicked it. Might have delayed play. So that could have... Played a role. So three yellows assessed, all to Gotham so far. Two to players and one to head coach Scott Parkinson. All right now here in the 29th, it's 1-0. Gotham FC, despite being outshot 9-2 in 
three to one in shots on target and being granted significantly fewer opportunities. But here's a takeaway that could make something. McDonald the swipe with Howell alongside. McDonald's. Couldn't break it through for Davis. Tries the left. Rosie sends it right back. Let's head it aside. Belay. Gearing up to throw. Settles with Howell. In for Davis! An easy roll that Harris can get on top of. Rookie out of Texas Tech taken in the second round, 13th overall. And this year's draft has been getting quite open. It has not broken through, nor has Anyone else on the home side through 30 minutes? Was on a rapid counter attack that got them FC. Notch the only goal on the board. A long whack ahead from Sheehan that found Monahan. That's a tough look. In the attacking third, it makes contact with the referee, Danielle Chesky. certainly does not bode well for the Louisville defense. Zerboni. <laughs> Chesky almost does it again. Foul called against Gotham there. That's a tough look. Jeski now well out of view. Louisville gets to work again. Shots, a plethora of free kicks, no finish. Davis heads it ahead. Freeman gets it aside. Louisville stays aggressive. Gotham back in control. a little bit ago, Gotham has been without so much firepower, but finally getting a goal. Sheehan, her send in, blocked down by diving effort from DeMello. And an end line save keeps it to just a throw in for Gotham. Coming into tonight, four goal scores. Number now five with Monahan. Three of them gone on international duty. That's Mitch first for USA, along with Christy Mewis. Along with Anamanu. Kawasumi in, still loose. She in. Beat to the ball near the six. And 
in Nigeria's most recent Africa Cup of Nations game. Anubanu. Notched a goal, assisted by Johnson. channel. Dorsey fails to track it down. Again, Louisville has had so many chances, getting so many deep fouls, and it's something that Scott Parkinson was actually wary of. In our conversation yesterday, noted it's a small league, world gets around that Louisville actually devotes some part of its practice time to diving. Drawing fouls that may or may not be there against opponents. Now, to be fair, a lot of them, if not all of them, tonight have seemed justified. And if not, practice makes perfect. Sheehan. Weaves towards the left. Kawasumi. Holds. Gives to Sheehan. Didasco couldn't speed to the back post. Practicing the free kicks, that's first Scott Parkinson, the Gotham coach. So take that for what it's worth. Now up the left here in the 37th. A massive bump from Didasco. Most of, the, most of the fouls today have been closer to that than Tiki Taki. And Idasco has to be super careful. She already has a yellow and is getting a talking to from Danielle Chesky. Pass it to Mello and shoulder to shoulder contact. Yellow on her. There's a yellow on Dorsey as well. Need to be mindful. Gotham in the lead. Louisville knocking on the door again. In front. It's loose. Knocked aside. But Louisville earns its second quarter. Tomello draws a double towards the corner. Rewinds. Lester. Can't push much on it. Backspinning chip. Davis searching for it. Bonner trying to get in there. And it's knocked out. side delivered back post a massive collision Davis actually that's Bonner grabbing at her head there that 
that is a tough battle there. Ooh. He was going for the head with Dorsey right there. Oh no, that's Connor's head getting the back of Dorsey's. Athletic trainers coming to attention now. You see Megan Fernandez there with Bonner. This game is a very toasty one at kickoff, 27 degrees Celsius. Falling on the Fahrenheit side, which is the metric here in the US, just three degrees short of the hydration break line. So there would have been, if it was just a little hotter, a mandatory break in the 30th minute. And since there wasn't, both sides utilizing this time. Get some water in them. Sides already dealing with ample absences. Often even more so due to injuries on top of the players on international duty. It's all, like nobody is missing on the Louisville side. There are four. One has only played in two games. The other hasn't played at all. Those being in order, Rebecca Holloway and Sitara Murray. Emily Fox and Nadia Nadim, obviously the two more significant players missing. Both players are coming off the pitch for now. Was already expected to have a little bit of stoppage time. This will obviously add on to the total of hair. Finally ready to go again. If you're just joining us, we're in the 42nd. A goal from Paige Monahan, assisted by Delaney Sheehan. In the 25th, accounts for the long tally. But Louisville has had far more opportunities. 10 shots to three. Including half a dozen free kicks. Side gets another chance here. Malay looks out. Scrapes the top of Mekic. Spinning through Lester. And now a rough tackle. Gets Zerboni a yellow card. That is the fourth Gotham yellow. This time given to Cerboni here in the 43rd. The referee is showing the yellow card to Gotham's number seven. Mentioned Zerboni. earlier that nobody has committed more fouls in the history of the league than Cerboni. With that yellow, earns herself a slightly more dubious honor. She's now tied for the all time regular season record for yellow cards with Merritt Mathias at 22 in her career. But on top of that, another chance for Louisville to make something happen. They've been on the doorstep so much in this opening half. And they finally bust that door down. DeMello back again. Yeah, 
pressure coming a little more. They got Scott Parkinson said before the game. Trying to get too forward with the press. That was costly. They don't need it this time. Scott Parkinson cheekily walks away. Not going to touch it this time. risking yellow number two before even hitting the locker room. Dorsey will keep it. It's off the leg of Ekic. Sumi. Good footwork. Now Monahan, who has the goal already. End line cross. Leap and grab from Katie Lund. The 6 1 keeper skies up to it and prevents another shot. Five minutes of stoppage time to close out the opening half of action here at Lynn Family Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky. out wide but Louisville on the ball again taken away in the center circle by Kawasumi Monahan it's a little too far for herself Cujo controls out for Monahan again ambling in trying to go to her left Belay Taps it aside. Ekic trying to break out. Harris, a long ways out of net. In the breaks. On an aggressive Kirsten Davis. Almost shook her right out of her shoes. Eventful first half with still some time to burn. <laughs> Moving with pace up the left side. Can Louisville tie it up before the break? Davis. Can she save it? No. cliche saying that sometimes games can be a tale of two halves well this individual half has been a tale of two runs an opening onslaught from racing louisville fc ashlyn harris getting pushed to the brink but not breaking and gotham fc off a counter-attack goal from monahan has the one nothing advantage. Monahan taking one from behind there. Back to her feet. by Howell from behind there. Perhaps another chance. Smith trying to roll it through for Dorsey. Sent out. The last possible moment. Some confusion on possession. It will be Louisville. She 
Kubiak trying to escape. Pressure, Monahan. Righty pass into the corner. And it was Louisville with the last touch. So the first Gotham corner incoming here in the final minute of stoppage time. Didasco will take it. No surprise. It's taken 22. Only one to take. Anywhere close is Mios with 13. She's gone. Goes in and Lund quick to it. Time lacking for another opportunity. One last push for Louisville. It's ushered out of play by Cujo. A quick throw back in coming from McDonald's. We must sustain it. DeMello. Speeds through the middle. Foul turns it over. And ends this first half of action. An electrifying first 45 and change. Ashlyn Harris getting bullied between the pipes. But fighting them off. With excellence, Gotham getting the low go and a breakaway. And it's the visitors with a 1 0 lead at the half.
One incredibly eventful half in the books, ready to start the second with the visiting Gotham FC, ahead of the home racing Louisville FC, 1-0. Brandon Ross here with you on Twitch. You're looking at the lone goal scorer in this game, Paige Monahan on the counter attack. The beautiful fall forward from Delaney Sheehan, setting her up beautifully. And Kim Bjorkgren's Scott squad has not done much wrong. 10 shots, four on goal, numerous. Free kick chances, many taken direct, but Ashlyn Harris in goal for Gotham has withstood all tests and has kept Louisville scoreless. A lot of different players getting involved on the attacking end for Louisville. Some typical, some a little out of place from the norm as Danielle Chesky whistles us into the start of this second half. The sun that was blaring earlier has since receded, so got a lot more visible pitch here for you in these final 45. But Amina Ekic involved, Savannah, Savannah DeMello, obviously. J Jalen Howell not as active or near the action in the first 45 minutes. Or Kirsten Davis was. Rookie out of Texas Tech has done quite a bit taking the second round of last year's draft, opted to return to college for her final season before joining Louisville this year. Quickly applying the pressure once again. Sheehan takes it away, taps it ahead. And now Monahan rewinds it. Didasco, a hard cross towards the top of the box. Cujo beats the ball. Here's a little slip through the middle. McDonald out near the sideline, sends it in. Loose up top, Ekic. Gotham wanted a handball, it didn't come. McDonald, big boot, but right at Harris. Ashlyn Harris has done the yeoman's work in goal. Feeling the confidence. Not only fending off four shots on target, but six total from inside the box. And despite the one Nothing score in favor of Gotham. You look at the expected goals, it widely, widely favors racing Louisville. 0.91 to 0.15. That was actually a correction from the middle of halftime where it read 1.02 for the home side. See if they can break through here early in this second half of play. Davis. Pounded, gets it away. McDonald's in front. Harris snares it with ease. Put it on goal, not too dangerous. This swipe turned into something. DeMello. A little behind Ekic. She tracks it down. To the edge of the box. Shidiak. Finds Wine. Zanetta Wine. Delivers. Headed out. Down with Howell. Righty strike. Harris dives to stop it. Lunging like a lemur, making all the stops in this one. Oh, 
A brick wall tonight. Stopping the first major push from Jalen Howell. Boy, not generating much action up until that shot. Foul settling back. Sets up another free kick for Louisville. Jamelo the only one over the ball. Has a dangerous delivery. Quite a ways away. Goes for the top of the box. It's headed out. Wine. Can't reach her target. Smith the swipe. Turns on the speed. Breaks through the back line. Taylor Smith is stopped. One on one with one. She cannot break through. Offense has been flaming hot at times. Gotham a crucifying counterattack. But the goalkeeper play has been nothing short of sensational tonight. Smith swarmed by the entire defense. Malay, Wine, even Lester getting back there. Can't pick that pipe. And Parkinson amazed that did not go through. Jamelo barrels over. Zerboni. Tic Tac toes ahead to Ekic. Gamelo swarmed. Clings on. Wide for McDonald's. Jess McDonald's. Tries to break through. No whistle, and a corner kick earned. It's a step corner kick powered by service. Here in the 53rd minute, Louisville mightily outshooting Gotham FC in this game, but behind on the score sheet. 11 to four, the shot margin. This here will be the fourth quarter of the match. It'll be Amina Ekic to send it in. In front, Howell, her header knocked back. Lefty roller stopped up. Howell, rewinds towards midfield, wine settles. High Archer in, headed up, still loose. McDonald loses the chase down, but Louisville rescues it. Another delivery blocked by Cujo. Ekic, briefly taken away by Kawasumi. On the home side, has to start in the center circle once again. On the left to Mello. To Wine. He switched to the right. A lot of backspin on that delivery. And Monahan heads it out for yet another corner. This is a set 
was relentless out the gate in the first half. Second half, no difference so far. Can they find the back of the net in the process? Thus far, have been unsuccessful. The rookie, Savannah DeMello. I'll have to wait a moment. Trainer coming out like to check a player. That was consequence of the contact. Not easily seen. You have to wonder how tough this would look in hindsight for Kim Bjorkegren and company with all of these chances that have come tonight. If they can't even pull out one goal. Thank you. Good job. All right. Good time to Mello. Pairs once again. Misses everyone. Pushed out by the attack. Bad touch, turning it over. It's a Louisville side that has not been lacking for offense in recent games. Multiple goals in three straight contests, as a matter of fact. Now haven't won any of them. One loss and two draws. It's not the look you want. There will be, obviously, the returns of Nadia Nadim and Emily Fox to spark some life in the future once they return from international duty, as well as most recent signing. Tembi Katlana, former Houston Dash player, signed on Wednesday via transfer from Atletico Madrid. And two goals, three assists in the 2018 campaign with the Dash. And now joins Louisville. Back stretch of this season, she'll officially hop on board once her duty with Team South Africa at the Africa Cup of Nations is done. Julia Lester earns the first yellow card booking on the Louisville side in this one. First yellow she has earned this season. Smith broke through and you know, just. It, it's been a lot with the jersey pulling or quasi jersey pulling or pulling generally today on these yellows. Ball down that right flank. Monahan being pressured. My wine. It will be a Gotham corner. up in front of the net leading for Zerboni it's 
now a tackle to stop the progress. See some more confidence coming into this Gotham side as they win back possession. Comfortable up in the intensity on that press once again. has not been hesitant to come a long ways out of net. The confidence must be immense at this point with the performance she has had. the throw. Mentioned this is her first NWSL appearance. As Louisville earns another free kick. Wine. A lot of experience coming into Louisville in Europe, including a brief stint out of Poland, the club that Kim Bjorkegren was the head coach of, but she proceeded in by four years and now he looks on, stone-faced, as DeMello prepares to launch another assault on Cage. Go short. Tapped out wide. Visitors have the throw. Another ball sent out of play. Dispossessed and had the last touch. The Australian who signed a deal back in April, coming off the W League season. Still looking for her first offensive contribution stateside. for Sheehan, puts it on goal, but it's an easy one hop for Katie Lund. Sixty-fourth minute, one nil Gotham, the lone goal coming on a breakout in the 25th, Monahan, who's defending there at the goal off the Sheehan assist, McDonald's, dishes, DeMello, Tries to roll it close. He's off the back of Freeman and out for a corner. This has been nothing short of a set piece soiree. But Louisville has not enjoyed the treats. This delivery, headed by Howell, over the crossbar. You can sense the frustration. So 
substitution readying on the Louisville side. Perhaps some new faces between the lines. Could make that difference. Smith into space again. She's open. Smith gets poked up and Ludd snares it. Her second one-on-one -on -one of the night and still cannot get past Lund. The third year pro from Plano, Texas is keeping this from getting worse. And now here's a lead ahead for Davis, working on Freeman. Davis to no one. And we have the first substitution of the match. Here in the 66th, it'll be Freya Olofsson entering for Amina Ekic. Number 13 in white has been so involved. Crosses, free kicks, shots, you name it. But nothing through. So will the Swedish national make a difference? Looking at that Smith breakaway again. Just another one where she had the lane, but couldn't capitalize. <laughs> Freeman's pass intercepted. DeMello pushing ahead. Savannah DeMello shoots, scores! In the 67th, we are level. You could sense it coming right from the jump. The sub is made, and Freeman, the costly off-target pass, DeMello just gets the inch of space she needs. And beats Harris to that far post. Third goal of the year for DeMello, the rookie out of USC. That's back-to-back -back games with a tally. And her first scored in the run of play. Both Pryor had come from free kicks. This game has gotten a lot more interesting. Kawasumi looking to answer back fast. It's tapped wide. On the break back by Bonner. But another Gotham corner coming. Sixty ninth minute. Level from DeMello just a moment ago. Smith stops up top. Kawasumi settles in the box. It's dirty to try and slide it through. But knock back to midfield. Savannah DeMello off her own swipe. Has set the tone. Possibly jolts Louisville to the lead. McDonald hits Davis. Davis knocked aside. What a night Davis has had. And firing on Harris. Gets past Krieger. Can't sneak it in short side, but another Louisville corner and an opportunity to take the lead. And 
front, headed down, still loose, and rolled out. Lester, out wide. Lefty shot. Off target from Shidiak. It's a Zappos corner kick. But it was tapped by the Gotham defense. So yet another corner kick. Low delivery. Easily knotted out. DeMello. Blocked by Cujo. Backing on Kawasumi. 71st minute. 1-1 one, one game. Just leveled. In the 67th by DeMello. Getting the midfield takeaway going all the way to the final third herself and scoring. Tough contact. Seems like Shidiak, the one called for the foul. Look at that one more time. Contact. To what extent? You be the judge. Offside called. Turns on the Jets again. Gets it away. Olofsson! Just too high. What a missile. Aiming for that top shelf. Cujo getting a card in the process. Away from the play. The referee has shown a yellow card to Gotham's number six, Jennifer the Cujo. Fifth yellow issued against Gotham in this game. against Lester. Seventy-fifth minute. Square at one goal apiece. Recent global substitution. Substitution here in the seventy-fifth. Parker Goins enters for Kirsten Davis, who has had herself. Quite the night. Go, 
Cobham's ball ahead, knocked down. Numbers forward to try to make something. Goins heads it ahead. It's loose. Louisville comes up with it. Alex Chidiak pushed down hard in the box. Allie Krieger delivering some words. Drawing no whistle. Crowd now getting to see that replay. And another foul called on Louisville. Bonner having a heated discussion with Danielle Chesky. and an easy bounce to Lund. After the early goal, she has played stellar. This game has been a lot more stop and go in these last couple of moments. Donalds sends it in, headers up, but wide. Applauding the delivery. Olafson still couldn't tuck it home. Presses really on for Louisville. Olafson hounding Cujo, but it gets away. Monahan coughs it up. You look back to that last pure opportunity for Louisville. The streak into the box, Krieger with a pretty blatant push, yielding no whistle. From Danielle Chesky. That is a moment people will look at, but you could also point to so many more opportunities where Louisville could have easily scored, but did not find the twine. You could also argue Didasco could have earned another yellow near the end of that first half. 80th minute and Gotham is using its first sub. Cameron Tucker entering in the place of Gotham's goal scorer, Paige Monahan. Tucker, her ninth appearance of the season. Signed after Gotham acquired her discovery rights before the year.
Another costly error from Louisville. Kawasumi ambles ahead. Hits Smith. One on one again. This time she's got it. Taylor Smith breaks through. 2-1 Gotham. So many one-on-one -on -one chances. This the third for Smith. And finally, on her closest look, able to beat Lund and give Gotham the lead. Credit Kawasumi with the assist. And that's her first of the season. Smith tallying her first goal in a Gotham uniform. has applied so many more opportunities on goal. But Gotham has stormed into Lynn Family Stadium and stunned the home crowd. Daniel Chesky giving a warning to Scott Parkinson. And keep in mind, he already has a yellow card assessed to him in this game. Smith on that goal. First of her regular season after picking up a pair in the Challenge Cup with North Carolina. Louisville looking for a response in the 83rd. McDonald. Her cross sent out wide. So Smith, the second goal scorer. And the second player taken off. On hand scored the first goal and was subbed in for Cameron Tucker. Smith off in the place of Jenna Pike. Making her second NWSL appearance. Looking at her goal once more. Just over the fingertips of a leaping one. Bike. Listed as questionable coming into today with a light hamstring injury. You can see that tape on her right leg. Up going in the late stages. A rookie out of Boston College. Someone Scott Parkinson envisions as a winger with Mitch Purse. Still not around and someone will probably fall back a little bit. If she stays on. Another cross in, swept aside. Bounds out to wine. And another takeaway. A tough tackle near midfield. Jalen Howell has earned herself a red, or sorry, a yellow card, I should say. That was quite premature. Yellow for Jalen Howell. That's the third she has earned this year. The second handed out to the home side. down 2-1, having to 
fend off another Gotham advance. Down that right wing, Cameron Tucker. Came in off the bench a few moments ago for Paige Monahan. Back within Louisville's control. Plenty of bookings as well as shots. Five yellows to Gotham, including one on head coach Scott Parkinson. Two to Louisville. With the shooting favoring the home squad. Currently 20 to nine. It's in the box. Knocked back. Olofsson can't settle it. Gets out to Wine. Making her NWSL debut tonight. Lefty Cross comes in, and it's headed out wide. Still in the area. Howell getting herself some space. It's loose. Track down. Or in the 87th, subs on both sides. Ellie Jean to enter for Priest Didasco. And a pair being made for Louisville. Racing Louisville substitution. Taylor Malum. Number 12, Taylor. In to replace Sonetta Wine. Replacing number 30, Sonetta Wine. And then Neely Martin entering for Jalen Hell. Connection on the pitch now for Louisville. Taylor Malum and Parker Goings. Both from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Both went to college at Arkansas. Childhood friends, teammates, all the way from a tender age. They're on as Louisville looks for the tie. Jalen Howell off. Lester backtracks to it. Martin. Hits DeMello. The lone goal scorer in this one for Louisville. Returns it to Martin. Delivers across. Headed in front. Olufsen couldn't reach it. McDonald's. Let's it go out. Freeman could rescue. And an 89th minute quarter coming here for Racing Louisville FC. Here it comes. In front. And the whistle blows. Yet another set piece without a finish. Tonight's player of the match vote by you is number seven, Savannah Tonello. This is a game that, if you look statistically without a viewing the run of play, should have been Louisville's with ease. Attack fully automatic, set piece after set piece, shot after shot. But down 2 1 the goal column towards the end of regulation. They're only left with the spare minutes of stoppage time ahead. Martin has to track back to throw. Be 
four minutes of stoppage time here at Lynn Family Stadium in Louisville. From the home side, eke out one more. DeMello, a reckless foul on her end. And that's the third yellow against Racing Louisville and brings the game total up to eight. Just absolutely tearing down her opponents. Some frustration setting in as time winding down. Jenna Bike. Closest there, but we'll see the throw. Following tonight, an eight-day rest for Gotham before hitting the road for the West Coast to take on Portland Thorns. That'll be again Saturday the 16th. We're focused on the last moments of this game. Because after this, it's one week before they hit the road to face San Diego. Martin. Goins. Cross blocked. Second try gets through, but tapped out. Bonner plays up. A long lefty whack. Not much of a challenge for Ashlyn Harris. back and who truly played to the highest level tonight Ashlyn Harris has to be at or minimum near the top of that list some incredible saves to keep her side in the fight so far stopped Seven of eight shots on target. Cujo back to stop up that cross. But here in the final minute of stoppage time, DeMello will have the corner. The final gasp. Post, it goes out, and it's off of Louisville. Harris. Had to be all over the place tonight. And after a streak of three scoreless games for Gotham, not only do two goals get on the board, but if this doesn't get through, and it does not, they come away with the 2 1 win. Scott Parkinson jubilant. And the visitors snatching away a long awaited victory. The lowest scoring team in the NWSL gets the better of a red hot racing Louisville FC attack. 
That wraps up our coverage from Lynn Family Stadium tonight for our entire crew. I'm Brandon Ross saying so loud for now. One more time at full time, the final score, Gotham FC 2, Louisville FC 1.